Hey guys, Marianne Houck here. Uh, I just want to do a real quick video to show you how to edit your sales letter in um, for Impact Mailing Club. So you're going to get a company letter um, from the uh, from the company when if you get a welcome packet, which will be for new members, and that the transition members aren't getting a um, welcome pack, but they do get a sales letter. So when you want, but you want to edit it into your own, with your own information and your pictures. You don't want to, uh, I mean, you can send out the company one, but it's a lot better if you do um, one of your own. So we, um, have, this is, yeah, this is funny, it was copy, copy, copy. But this is um, uh, what's shared to me but with uh, from Rose, and that way I can edit it, and then I'm sharing it with my team. Um, I've actually also updated or edited a couple for team members that, that uh, don't know, didn't know how to do this, or they're not very tech savvy, so I went ahead and edited it for them. But it's not hard, it's actually pretty fun. So when you first log in, or go to canva.com, and if you don't have an account already, create an account, it's free. And then this is the home, <coughs> excuse me, this is the home page. So this is going to have all your projects or whatever your designs that you've done. So just click on the one you want to edit. I'm going to close some of these out here. Okay, so the one you want, the project you want to edit pops up. Uh, mine's already done, but I'm just going to show you how easy it is. So if you want to enlarge it so you can see it. So your pictures and everything are going to be over here in uploads. So you're going to click on that and then you can go to upload an image and you can get anything off your computer that you want to put in here and this is kind of like your little personal gallery here of everything that I've uploaded before so to change to change the company picture that would be right here just grab um, another you know the picture that you want and just drag it over um, and it, it totally changes it right there okay that quick and then this one here same thing um, I I made this little collage thing in the, in my um, on my phone and pick collage and then I emailed it to myself to in order to upload it on my desktop because my phone for some reason will not upload uh, anything to my desktop I don't know why so I had to email it to myself and then I can save it on my desktop and then upload it in here so upload the pictures you want here drag them over to here okay um, let's see I'm gonna put that one back that I had in there before okay and then to change the text, all you all you will really want to do on this letter is the two pictures, this one and the other one, the, this one here and that one there. Leave everything else the same, except you want to change your personal info here. Okay, and it's already in a text box because that's how they did it. So you literally just click in it, and then you change your info like this. I mean, it's it's super simple. Okay, this is a Google number. You don't want to use your own, well, you can, but your own cell phone number. That way you don't have strangers, you know, calling your cell phone. So we all usually sign up for a free Google Voice number. Um, and that way you can have this number in here. People can call it. You have a greeting on there um, telling a little bit about the company, build curiosity, and then have them leave a message. Um, or you can also see if you have a missed call. I get a lot of people that call but don't leave a message, but I can see the missed call and it's their number. So then I can text them um, a follow-up message or I can call them back. Um, and you always want to follow up. Follow up is huge. Don't forget to follow up with every single lead you guys get, okay? Um, so that's that box. And then I added the Find Me on Facebook because I'm also doing this online. So I want them to be able to friend me and look at my profile so that I'm a real person. Um, so that's why I added this text box. And the only thing you go over here, you just do text and then a little, add a little bit of body text. You click on that and it gives you a text box. So you type whatever you want in there. And then when, it, when you hover over it and it goes at like the little crosshairs, then you can click and drag it wherever you want. And these purple lines are to show you that you're centered with something, like I'm centered right there, it'll center it horizontally and vertically, okay? And then I'm just gonna delete that. That's how you add this text box. And you can stretch it out, 
if I click on this, you can stretch this out to make it wider, um, to make it like just fit in the page and stuff like that. So very simple. And then uh, that's all you really need to change on here. Everything else um, leave the same because the second page is, is all about the levels and what you get in your welcome kit. So um, you want to leave that the same. So that's all you have to do. And then you want to go over to File and Save. It does save as you go, but just make sure you do that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit the down arrow and you're going to download this onto your computer. And save it so that way you have it. And it'll save it as a PDF. I think that's the default. You don't want it to have them print it. You just want to click off of that. And then it's going to put it down below. My computer's slow. It's going to put it down below here. And I don't, uh, I can't see it on here. Um, hang on. Let me see if I can see it. No. Anyway, it'll, it'll download. You know how when you download something, it comes. There it is. I can't see it behind the stuff, but it's right here. Then you would just click on that. When you download something, it goes to the left bottom corner, so I think everybody knows that. And then it's a PDF, so then all you want to do, you know, you click that arrow there, and then you're going to save it on your desktop. So it's that easy. And then you have that to print out. Um, take it to a printer, send it to some, you know, to a printer or print it at home. And then when you want to, if you want to change anything in there, like the pictures for maybe the next mailing, you want to do a little bit different look of the flyer then change it up a little bit um, so then I would save it in my folder there so then change it up a little bit for your next mailing because you want to mail your same leads a few times because they have to see a lot of people have to see something several times before they'll they'll um, join which is which goes for everything so that's fine so change it up a little bit change the pictures do something a little different here maybe a different headline or color or something like that um, if you want just to make it a little bit different but what you want to do is so this is your original one you just did so you want to go up here and do file make a copy and then it'll save your original and then you can edit the copy and name it something else when you um, when you save it to your desktop so I hope this helps I hope that made sense um, it's not hard <coughs> excuse me, it's not hard it's actually really fun there's a ton of stuff in here if you want to play around with this, if you want to do, um, you know, there's tons of free backgrounds. It'll tell you if you scroll down. See, it's, if you hover over, it says free. You get down lower. Some of them have like a little um, lock on them. I don't know where those are, but maybe way down here that you have to pay for. But there's a ton in here that are free. You don't really, you don't need to pay for anything. Um, there's different elements. You can do um, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, just shape all kinds of stuff. Drag you just drag it over, and you know, I think that you have to. And there's templates, but you don't want you don't need any of those because we're not doing for this letter. So pretty much text is what you're going to use, and you want to do that one, and then you're just going to edit what's already in there. Just drag you know go into uploads will be where your photos are. Okay, so that's it. I hope this helps. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.